Well done, Rob. You completely changed the game when you came on. Were you a man on a mission, perhaps frustrated at having had to sit out the most recent games? Yeah, I think uh, I needed a performance like this today. Uh, you know, it's been difficult, you know, getting like ends of the game. You know, every footballer wants to be on the pitch. The manager has his reasons, but, uh, you know, I kept working hard. And, you know, today it was, uh, you know, it was good for us to win. And uh, for myself personally, I'm happy with my performance now to push on. The first goal, was it about the movement? Yeah, it's movement. Um, I think, uh, you know, with uh, balls from, from with crosses and stuff throughout the years, my well, movement in the box has been better. I tried to be less static and try to be on the move on the time. And, you know, the cross was a brilliant cross. And then I just came across my man and, you know, flicked it in. And when you won the penalty, you just looked unstoppable. Nothing was going to get you. <laughs> yeah, uh, you know, I think that's, that's preferably my preferred actions, you know, running into space and, and uh, you know, use my speed and my power. And then, you know, uh, the defender did a contact and, you know, Georgie finished it off for us. In fact, going into the game, you mm. were nine points behind the leaders, Man City. Was it vital you picked up all three points today? Yeah, I think we, we are the hunters now. Uh, it's clearly that, you know, the last uh, results for us uh, were not the best. And now we have to chase. Every, you know, every game for us from now until the end of the season is a final. You have to treat them like finals because every game in the Premier League is very difficult. But uh, you know, today we we won, and now we have to push on and you know keep chasing. Does it feel like you've made a bit of a statement? Level with Liverpool now, prove this is a three-way fight. I don't know. You know, I think today we had to do our job. We had to win the game. Um, Aston Villa was doing really well in the last couple of games. You know, credit to Steven Gerrard and his and his staff and their players. They have a really good team. It was not easy for us, but in the end, you know, our quality came through, and now we have to push on. We have to make sure that uh, every game is a final, win, and that's it. You did your job. Good Thank to you see you back. Thank you. Thank you. Well, they've won that final. Um, interesting comments. And not that you were on the bench and left out very often in any of your <laughs> clubs. Uh, but can you can you empathise with that sort of point to prove that he had today? Yeah, because he wants to play games. He's been he's been bought in for a lot of money. People questioned him when he came back to Chelsea, and he's been fit for a little while. And only had the COVID situation and the injury, but he wants to go out there, prove people wrong and score goals. And I think he showed that with his performance. He looked a bit more hungry today. It looked like he, he really wanted to get a goal. He says he was bringing others into play, but he was playing with real enthusiasm. And I think sometimes for Lukaku, maybe his body language doesn't always show that, but today he looked like he got on the pitch. He knew that his team needed him. He stepped up, got the goal, and I thought his performance of that second half was outstanding. Mm. And he said that the manager had his reasons, so he's obviously been available to play, and he's not been starting. Yeah, and they're correct reasons. I've seen him come on against West Ham, I've seen him come on uh, from the bench, and nothing like that. Didn't have the energy, didn't have the movement. There was a lack of movement. And I think the manager's looking at him thinking, you're not ready, you're not ready, you're showing me you're not ready. He thinks in his mind he's ready, but go out there and do it on the pitch. Today, as Dan has just said, second half, he's trying to get on the shoulder, mm. he's pinning people, he, he, he wanted the ball, he wanted the ball every single time. He was making runs that when it wasn't really realistic that the ball was going to come. But he looked eager, he looked, yeah. he wanted to show the manager, no, I'm ready. And he went and proved it tonight. Mm. And did you sense when he came on at half time um, that straight away there was a seed of different doubt? in Villa defenders' minds. Absolutely. I mean, as soon as he comes onto the pitch, they know, you know, he's like, look, he, he, he wants to run in behind. His movement was always, the timing was spot on. He dips in behind Mings there and then, oh, here I am, in front. I don't know what Mings was doing there. He tried to body check him in the end. He beat him all ends up. Once you let the striker look at your number, you've got a serious problem. Mm. Um, but Romelu's movement, if he wasn't getting it when he was pinning him, he was running in behind, now automatically they go deep. Now he can see his number. Now he can see the ball and it's in the back of the net and Mings is hopeless to that. Mm. You know, he, he just could not deal with him. We saw with the second goal as well, he comes short, he runs him in behind. You know, if you try and defend high up the pitch of Romelu Lukaku, he can run you in behind. He's got every asset, I, I, I believe, to his game. He just yeah. needs to continue to play on a regular basis. I was really interested to hear that interview because obviously they're not singing off the same hymn sheet. You know, the manager is obviously not playing him for a reason. What Glenn, Glenn has mentioned there, but once he gets away, you just can't catch him. Phenomenal cuts across there, just buying the the, towel, uh, the tackle from Conze. Just he's almost saying to him like, "Bring me down, I'll get a penalty for my team later on." And uh, we talked. Glenn made a good point. I think I would have given him the pen as well, Glenn. You yeah. would have certainly done that, wouldn't you? Yeah, I think I would have done. I'd have, you know, it was right. You know, they were still going to win the game if it was missed. But there shows great strength, and he he knows what he's doing there. As Tim said, just holds him off, waits for the tackle, gets the ball on the outside of his body. Come and get it if you want. And I think I'd give him the penalty. Jorginho's mm. already had the one yeah. right at the death of the game. And, yeah, give him another goal, maybe, and that would have got, set him on his way. 
But even when he's, he's in that type of form, Lukaku, it doesn't even have to be a pass. It could just be like a hopeful clearance up the pitch into space. And because he's so strong, like he did for the penalty there, he held up the defender, he's got too much pace, too much power. And as I said, he needs to put in these type of performances because I think if Chelsea got any chance of closing that distance between them and Manchester City, yeah. they're going to need him firing. Yeah, I think for the first goal, uh, first goal, for, for his goal, the header, I think he must have made six movements. Yeah. Yeah. And in the end, he gets across Mings and gets his goal. Yeah. But he wanted it before that. And, and that's what, that's, when he's making that movement, mm. he's as good as anyone. And that's why Chelsea brought him back. Uh, and that's what he was doing when he first arrived. I just think he's, I don't know whether it was because of the COVID and the injury. He's had a little mind block where his movement stopped. Uh, but now, t today, as I said, it, that was top, top quality centre forward play. OK, let's hear from the money who hasn't been playing him and indeed introduced him today crucially at half-time. Here is the Chelsea boss, Thomas Tuchel. Thomas, what are your thoughts on that victory and how it came about? Well, it's a big victory. It's very hard to play here. And when you go one goal uh, behind Villa Park, it's even gets even uh, more difficult. But the reaction was very, very good. Mentality was, was outstanding. So we had a well-deserved win. We did not allow any chances and uh, we created a lot of big chances. Um, from possession and also from uh, from counter attack, so uh, job done. But yeah, we are we are worried. We like we have another injured players. We play with with players and we play against team who have no international duty. Um, uh, it in some point it will catch us. How much of a game changer was the introduction of Romelu Lukaku? I don't know. For today it was a game changer, but but do we both know that this is uh, that this is um, um, that we have the, the responsibility to do that? We let uh, Callum hudson odoi play for 90 minutes because we need to uh, change other players on the pitch. Who, who who decides that? And so today he's the game changer, and maybe we do a big mistake here, letting players play from 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 Corona uh, and and having one or two training sessions. But obviously they make us play and so we play and we play two more cup games and we play against teams who prepare, uh, who have games postponed and who prepare one week these matches, OK. So uh, it's, it's like it is, but this cannot be the right way. You're taking the challenge on, so when you pick up all three points today, does that give you satisfaction? The change you of made course half it gives time us, yes. and what you changed but it's around not enough well. Yeah, but it gives, uh, there's not enough changes for us. It's as easy as that. I mean, five changes were invented because of Corona. Whole Europe has five changes, but we play, whole Europe has a winter break and we play through and on, on which shoulders we put it on the players' shoulders. OK, so this is, uh, this is the result now. They make us play all the time. Uh, even if we have COVID or something else. And now we have uh, new injuries and, and uh, this will not stop. Well, you can hear his frustration, but it was a big day uh, for Romelu Lukaku. And Glenn, you've been having a look at Chelsea in the first half with Pulisic compared to when Lukaku came on. Been saying it's, it was a completely different performance from, from, from Chelsea. There's no doubt about it. This is the, uh, the examples of there was no, nobody to hit. To get a cross in there, you had to be perfect. The ball had to be, you know, you're not having to hit an area. You're having to hit a spot on. And, the, and they're small lads and, and Villa were coping. You know, they get to the byline here again. There's nothing to be picked out, really. It's a tough, tough cross. Second half, of course, with Lukaku now, look, getting on the back of defenders. Oh, Darren, you're a little bit disappointed. Yeah, he did that. I think he gets in on that one. Yeah. And, and then again, he's made that sort of movement that we're talking about, but he gets across the front of Mings. And it, give, it gave Chelsea second half an option to put crosses in the box. And I think that was why he was brought on. And just to go back to the point you made, if they're going to keep on the coattails of City and probably Liverpool, the performance and consistency of him is key to that, is it? It is key, because as Glenn was saying there, you look at the first half performance, everything's got to be precise. They can't hit an area. It's got to hit the perfect ball, the perfect cross, the perfect pass. But when you've got someone like Lukaku who's willing to run, put that type of energy in, if they want to close that gap, I think he's going to be key because he will get them goals. If you keep supplying him the, the, the chances, he's shown when he was in Italy, when he's here the first time with, with West Brom, Everton and Manchester United, that if you keep supplying them opportunities, he'll, he'll score goals. Last season at Inter, he scored all of them amount of goals. So I think Chelsea and Thomas Tuchel, I understand what he's saying, the frustrations, but if you want to keep winning games, you have to keep playing him and he will get you the goals.